everyone, I'm Melanie from the Midland Public Library Maker Place. And to help save the environment by not sending our clothing to the dump, we're going to upcycle old jeans into these aprons. To make your jean apron, you need some old jeans, and we'll talk shortly about holes. You need some fabric for trim and ties, something to cut with, and something to sew with. If you'd like to use the Maker Lab sewing machine to help you complete this project, just send me an email and we'll book a slot for you. Lay out your jeans and decide which leg you want to use. A small hole in the knee like this might be okay since we'll be cutting up the center anyway, but you don't want any giant holes left open because they'll end up very visible on your apron. You can experiment with patches though if you still want to use them rather than throwing them out. So once you decide, you're going to cut your chosen leg off at the inseam all the way across. Check your back pockets for holes and then cut one out. Then remember that you're cutting off the back panel as well so it wouldn't actually matter if your pocket had holes anyway. Examine your leg to decide which side to cut. You can see the knee wear on one side of this leg so that's the side I'll cut into so it doesn't end up front and center on my apron. Cut all the way up, then lay it flat and straighten out your cutting if it's really wonky. I'm also taking off the hem to remove the bulk so it's easier to sew. Then fold the leg in half and cut a scoop to form the narrower top. You might have to put the apron against yourself to make sure it sits right and cut again. Once the denim shape of the apron is done, you need to make the binding. I'm cutting three inch strips of my cotton. And if you do a lot of work with fabric, I strongly recommend getting one of these rotary blades. They make life so much easier. If you don't have one though, scissors will work fine. I decided to make things a little easier by sewing some strips together before pressing them into binding. This is optional but highly recommended since you'll need long strips for the ties anyway. Iron your strips flat and then iron them into the shape of your binding by pressing the sides in a half inch, then pressing it in half. I made one small piece of binding and now I'm attaching it to the top of the apron by encasing the denim in the binding and just stitching on the top. Now start binding using the long strips starting under the curve on one side, around the bottom and up to the underside of the curve on the other side. If you'd like, you can do this in three pieces but I'm doing it in one and creating corners by folding over my binding and then continuing along the next side. To make the neck loop, hold the apron against yourself and then measure around where the loop would go. Find the center of a long binding strip and then measure out the loop, pinning it in place to the apron. Then ease the binding along the arm curves. Pin down the rest of the binding as you'll be sewing it together to create the neck loop and ties. Do this on both sides of the apron. Start at one end of the ties and stitch the whole way around to the other end.
The last step is to attach the pocket. And as you can see, I also put a belt loop on. I'm pinning these in place, and then I'm going to attach them by hand because I feel like the denim seams are too thick to put through on our machine. And that's it for a basic apron. Denim is really durable, so this apron is great for cooking, crafting, grilling, painting, gardening, woodshop, the possibilities are endless. I decided to personalize mine for use here in the Maker Lab using our Cricut and heat transfer vinyl, but the details are as varied as your imagination, so get creative.